the stream and we're going to allow a few people to come in if someone will join us if not i'm gonna be paying by myself and that is perfectly fine so i'm gonna get you hooked up here and i'm gonna start pulling some paints so that we can paint Um, a little something to do here while people come in and be sure to ask your questions now this is a one-man show so I can't guarantee that I can answer everything but I will do my best and I want to make this interactive and fun never really done this type of a live stream before so I don't want it to be too boring hey Linda hey Kim thank you guys for joining me um, and I'm gonna go ahead and start laying out some paint so hey Kathy I thought it would be fun to do a black pillow because I don't paint a lot with black pillows. And we're going to make some shimmery goodness. And um, mm -hmm. I picked out a couple paints for us. So I'm going to mix these up and we're going to get this party started. Hey, Terry. And I'm just going to put some paint in here. Um, if you watch my channel, you know I don't use a lot of exact measurements. I go by feel and flow. And I'm going to be doing that tonight as well. Um, since we're pulling on a black pillow, I want some shimmery, shimmery goodness. So I'm going to add um, an iridescent medium to some of these colors. This is a little Amsterdam, excuse me, Artist Loft Silver. And this is my pouring medium. And just going to pour it. I like to start out with about a three to one ratio. Hey, Novella. And it up really quick and I'm going to show this pouring medium in just a moment hey Angie thanks for joining us oh you're not late we're just getting this party started okay, that's going to be a good consistency for us I'm going to add some shimmers in here This is Audit Sloth Iridescent Medium. It's going to give us a little shimmer and a little shine. So I just squeeze a little in like so and get that mixed up. Um, this was Audit Sloth brand and it, it tends to be a little bit thicker. So I'm going to add a speech of water. Not much. And 
I'm mixing so little paint I don't want to use too much water so this is GAC 800 just want the consistencies of my paints to be the same um, this is for like an extender Kim I reside in the gorgeous state of North Carolina where we have beaches and mountains there we go check out the consistency my apologies for the glare hey Shirley This is our silver by Artist Love. And it is also a little thick. The metallics tend to thicken up a bit when I add a little water. And a little GAC. Here we go. So as you all know, we are experiencing a paint shortage and I'm not able to secure um, some of the untinted bases that I like to play around with. Um, so let me show you what my pouring medium is. Hey, Jan. So my pouring medium today is the Sherwin Williams Infinity Base C Untinted, and this is mixed three parts to one part American Flow Charl because this is thick and I need that flow. So yeah, you're gonna mix those two. Sorry, all my bottles are big, so I couldn't hold them all up at once. So we have our paints mixed up here. And I'm going to go for two cell activators today. I want to do a copper and a white CA. And before I forget, we're going to mix up a piggy really quickly. All right. Today, our piggy is going to be rose quartz. And we're just going to do our thing really quick. So I'm going to take a good handful and guys, make sure you wear a respirator. Um, I just slipped on my mask really quickly. So you want a good amount. And I'm actually going to use GAC 800 as my wetting agent really quick. Just a little here. And you want to stir slow so those powders don't get kicked up.
Oh, Angie, I'm not getting married, but one of these days I will be. <laughs> so now that we have our agents, now that we have our pigments wet, we can now add some more Floetrol. Uh, excuse me. We're not going to add Floetrol. We're going to add pouring medium. Um, and I am going to add a spritz, and I mean a spritz of water. So GAC 800 is uh, like an extender for paints and it will, water can sometimes mess me up with piggies. So I use very little of it, but it's very thin and acts as water. So basically it's wetting all the pigments and allowing them to make my own paint or paste as you can see. And then I'm just going to add my pouring medium to the mix. My goal is to do three pours tonight. If we can do more, that would be great. Um, and I kind of have a little bit of a surprise. I know I love surprises and secrets and all that good stuff. Um, and that'll be coming up shortly. But there we go. Um, a nice mm -hmm. steady stream. All right. So I have never used Josanya, but a really good friend of mine just brought me some. So I will be trying it out pretty soon. All right, I'm gonna clean up just a little bit and we're gonna lay this paint down. And let's go ahead and make our cell activator. I am using Liquid Gold, AKA Flood Floetrol. This is the Australian version and not the American version. Now I do measure my Floetrol for the most part because who's got time messing this up? This stuff is expensive. But for people who are on the fence about getting it, you really don't use a lot. And if you don't make a whole bunch of different color cell activators, there's really, I mean, it's gonna last you a long time. So we're gonna do a three to one ratio. This is a 15 milliliter, which is one tablespoon. So we're going to do two of each. I'm making more than I need because I use white all the time. So this will not go to waste. This next spoon is five milliliters. So that will equal your three to one ratio. Mix up some copper here. Okay, someone just tipped me and I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, I will look back and see who it is and give you a proper thanks. Thank you, Mama Doulas. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm, I think everybody watching is also 
an artist and they know how expensive paints are so this will definitely go to purchase more paints um there is a new paint brand that i think i'm going to try pretty soon and i'm excited about that so let's mix this up really quickly we're gonna need one more So on the next one, I'm not going to use this second spoon because I normally just use one spoon. Um, I was just doing this for the informa information purposes. So you want to stir, stir, stir. Hey, Sarah. Look at that it's a nice sticky thin consistency you see those long drips awesome let's make our white ca as well Remember I said I wasn't using that other one, so this is just a little estimate. And we're gonna stir like crazy. Also look, um, your cell activator will react. I'm not sure if y'all can see that. It will react whenever you use your cup. You see those cells? So I know I'm in the ballpark when I see that. Lots and lots of stirring. All right. I think we're about where we need to be. So let me clean up because I'm getting ready to pour down our paints here. And if you guys have any questions, um, I'm going to take a look while I'm moving some things around. Jen, I, I try to keep my hands clean all the time. Um, I had an artist come visit me and she was like, oh my gosh, you paint so clean. But I don't know if that's just me. <laughs> friends y'all I don't know how I can keep them so clean um, let's just call it magic <laughs> um, okay let me get my paints together and these are my cell activators My ratio for Floetrol is three to one. That's three parts Floetrol to one part paint. All right, 
right. Here is my pillow paint. This is Valspar. This was a mist tint. I got this gallon for nine dollars. So we're gonna see how it reacts. And let me check the questions. All right. Wouldn't it be a tragedy, y'all, if nothing really came out of this? <laughs> now nah, we're going to get something today. All right. So let's go ahead and pour our paints. I'm moving my paints back because I don't want them to get paint on them. Now this is Valspar, so it's relatively thin. My pillow normally is not this thin, but we're gonna make it do what it do. So it does not leave a mound and it disappears in about, completely in about two seconds. Okay. Um, I make stands out of spray paint containers. It's just easy and reduce, reuse, recycle. <laughs> Let's go ahead and move our paints. I see some air bubbles here. I just mixed this paint, so we probably will have some air bubbles today, but that's okay. Hold on guys, let me put on a mask really quick. All right, I've popped some of those air bubbles. I'm actually gonna put a little bit more paint down. We're going to do a swipe, get things started. And I want to have some paint in the center so that I can move my paints around when I get to swiping.
my paint has thickened up just a little bit, just that quick. So I'm adding a little bit of water. That's the thing with working with different paint brands. I stick to a normal, my normal sets because I know how the paint kind of reacts for the most part. Um, I do experiment, but when I want to do a commission or something really important, I go back to what I know because I generally know how they're going to react. Now you will see that I've left some black spot specks in here. That's going to show up when we do our swipe and I love that effect. But now we're going to lay down our silver. Let's thin this down too, just a little bit. All right. I'm loving these colors already. And now for the icing on the cake, let's put on some of our TLP. Now this is an interference, so if you're unfamiliar, it doesn't look like much now, it looks white. But oh, when we get it on this black pillow, woo wee, can y'all say woo wee? So I'm just going to drizzle it on little by little here. And for fun, I have a little bit of gold already mixed up. Just going to add just a little bit. Now, I'm going to put my mask back on really quickly. Thank you for your patience. We're going to take our cell activators and I'm going to be using this as my swipe tool. This is a number 16. Um, I also got a cool knife from Fluid Art Co. Um, I love their knives as well. But this would be my choice for today. So remember we made our two cell activators earlier. This is copper and this is titanium white. And I'm just going to pour it on my tool and we're going to see what happens. One thing about making cell activator in a cup like this, I'll show you all what I love to do. Let's say you get too much. Now, you know, this is liquid gold. You can just dump it back in tap your cup you know what i'm saying it just makes it so much easier so when i mix up cell activator i love using this little cup right here or any cup 
and then you can put whatever you want and not um not waste any but yeah we're gonna load this up and we're gonna add some copper Just trying to get the whole tool covered here. And All right, folks. Now we're going to take our tool here, flip it over, and you want to ride this paint. You want to feel a little bit of suction and you want to take it on home. This is home if you didn't know. And first I need to tilt my paints back a little bit. I see that there's going to be some weight up top. So I should be able to move this how I want to. There's some really pretty cells. Let's let this develop a minute. I'm going to see if I can get this in focus for you all. There's my spoon or my spatula. Clean that really quick. I'm trying, Kathy. I'm going to try and take it home. <laughs> um, I'm also going to do another little swipe here. I'm going to try and do um, a copper swipe over this black pillow for a little contrast. And that's just over the pillow. Nothing else but cell activator and pillow. And I'm going to turn around and do it on this side as well. Ooh, look at this, y'all. You see that gorgeousness on the ends there? this up because I'm this is like an awkward way for me to swipe but I'm trying to keep things moving for this video okay not bad not bad oh really really pretty right there
Oh, look at there, y'all. Can y'all see that right here? Mm, 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 mm. Woo, I'm excited. Just wanted to get you guys in for a close up really quickly so you can see everything that's going on. All right, I'm gonna zoom back out. So now we're gonna tilt this bad boy. And as you can see, my paint is in the center. It's moving rather quickly. Open these cells up. Oh, look at the edge. Mm, 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 mm. And we're going to bring it down. Y'all, these edges are freaking bonkers. I wish I could teleport each of you here and show you in person. Get that corner. And now we're going to bring it on in. And that, that white color is actually going to be our interference. And y'all, it is making a gorgeous color combo down here at the bottom. Um, whew. Can't wait to show you that. Okay. Can you see? Probably can't see it. But all of that is just shimmering in the light. There you go. So we're going to bring it back down a little bit. Mm. All right. Tell me what you guys think. I'm going to go wash my hands and I'm going to look at some comments really quickly for just a moment. Okay, friends, let me see what you're talking about. Oh, thank you. Yes, come on, eyegasm. If you guys have watched my channel, you know we have paintgasm and eyegasms here. And this is definitely an eyegasm. There's a little bit of a white spot. It's an easy little fix. Gonna cover my sides. All right, let me try to get you guys in for a close up and we're going to move on to the next painting. Y'all, it is just like Cell City up in this piece. Then over here, you know, you got your classy, wispy lacing and cells. And down here at the very bottom, we have some amazing, really pretty things going on. I know you probably can't see it as well as I can, but just take my word for it. <laughs> All right, so let me move this and we're going to go on to painting number two. Um, 
Also, don't forget to scrape your sides. It helps with drips. All right, we're ready to move this bad boy. All right, let's bring it on in a little bit and let's get you in for something different. I'm going to be experimenting with a new paint today. Um, Mixed Media Girl sent me some paints and we're going to play around with them. You, they don't require any mixing and I'm going to show them to you. So we got some gorgeous colors here. I'm going to tell you, Merlot is my absolute favorite um, of this line. And I actually have a really bright pink. And I'm going to mix a color um, to get the color that I want. And then I'm going to add a satin enamels. And we're going to do like a little straight ring pour type of thing. And see what happens. This is electric pink. I'm going to mix Fairy Dreams and Electric Pink together to, to make a color. Ooh, I just love how it comes out. It's very silky. And this is our electric pink. And we're just going to mix these two together. And these paints are a little bit thinner than what I typically work with, but they are very vibrant so now we have like a hot pink fairy dreams really pretty color all right so we're going to mix everything up in a cup let me show you my satin enamels really quickly i used my same pouring medium recipe This is Satin Enamels by Americana. Uh, so I've thinned it to about the consistency of the paints from Mixed Media Girl. And we're going to make a cup and pour it out. Okay, I'm going to start with a little white at the bottom. And let me show you some of the consistencies of her paints out of the bottle. This is gold. got a nice good drip to it very vibrant very colorful I'm gonna pour a little gold in
Next, we're going to put a little bit of the Fairy Dreams. Some of the Garnet. Some of that custom mixed color that we made. Next, we're going to top that off with the hot pink. Excuse me, electric pink. And for contrast, I'm going to add some more white in there as well. And we're going to top things off with our really pretty Merlot. And a little gold. Isn't that cup pretty? Kim, you can go back and read all of the comments um, when you do live and premieres. You just have to click the live chat feature and you can go back and see what was said. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, are you all ready for a show? All right, let me see if I can get you at a slightly better angle so you can see that paint. And here we go. I'm going for a straight pour. I'll see this. Wait till y'all see that gold. And there's some of the white. Ooh, good. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Can y'all say, woo wee? There is some gorgeous reactions going on right here with the Merlot. And just look how that tail ended. Uh, I don't even want to do anything to this. Okay. Ooh. Y'all look at those cells popping up just in the right place. Okay, if I, I'm gonna have to switch things up here because I really don't wanna lose this. So I'm gonna get my spinner and we're gonna do a little bit of spinning here. This is a change of plans, but sometimes you just gotta go with the flow. I mean, check out those gorgeous cells right there, y'all. Okay, give me just a second. Let me get the spinner set up.
thankfully I was prepared. <laughs> All right. Bring this gorgeous beauty back on deck. Okay, let the paint gods be with us today. Lord, let this stay beautiful. And we're gonna spin. Check that out. A little much on the white, yes. But the flow is absolutely gorgeous. It's like the white and the and the lacing are battling against each other and the lacing just refuses to give up and I love it. I'm not going to spin it too much more because these paints are relatively thin so I think that this will dry just fine. Where is my... I'm looking for my little paint spatula that I move paints with. All right, we're going to try to pick this bad boy up. Up next, let's see. Do y'all want to do a bloom? Mm. Get you one good look, final look at that. All right, guys, give me some ideas. I'm, we're gonna move on to the next painting. Try to keep things moving here. <laughs> All right, let me get another canvas up here, guys. Hold on just a moment. picked up another round here and let's see okay it sounds like we want to do a bloom my friend Jane is saying bloom 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 <laughs> Bismo said let's do a fluorescent bloom now Bismo I don't know about that but we're gonna we might can squeeze a fluorescent in there. Angie said, bloom, bloom, bloom. <laughs> and Kim said, what about a spiral bloom? Okay, so we're going to do the spiral bloom um, as a request by Kim. And 
Let's see, let's see. I hear a lot of people saying yellow, so we're gonna put some yellow in there. We're gonna do a white base this time, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm gonna talk to you and get some things situated so we can do a bloom really quick. Um, I have some white um, paint mixed up for my pillow, so I'm just gonna use that to save on time. I'm not gonna go through the trouble of mixing more paint. But we said yellow, I have yellow. This is golden brand, so we're gonna use that. Kim said a spiral. Let me get my tool for a spiral. Let's see what we're working with. Okay. Got that. Um, how do y'all feel about doing like a tropical yellow, lime green, fluorescent, and blue mixture? Someone said autumn colors. We're gonna either do autumn or tropical, but let's go ahead and lay some things down. And when we get there, we will get there. All right. So this is going to be my swipe tool for the spiral. There's that. I'll let you lay that there. Someone said fluorescent. So I have some fluorescent yellow and fluorescent orange. I'm gonna make something out of this really quick. Um, since you said fluorescent, fluorescent is what you will get. Now, neon colors can, and fluorescents can be kind of tricky. Because their consistencies are funny acting, in my opinion. Um, this is a uh, neon yellow, so we're gonna go with that today. My pouring medium was explained at the beginning of the video. Um, if you're just tuning in. It is a three to one ratio, infinity, untinted base C paint. It's super thick, but it, it pairs down very nicely. So this is our neon color. Let's thin this down a bit, it's thick. Gonna add a little water. All right, that's a good consistency.
maybe just a little bit of GAC. So if I said this earlier, but this is not my typical untinted base that I use when I use untinted base, but you know, there's a paint shortage. So I'm having to use things that I don't normally do, which is why I'm having to do more adjustments. But that is the consistency that we want is a steady stream, but creates a mound on a mound. All right. Now we're going to do some, we're going to make some green really quick actually we have some green this is going to be real fun and light and airy and we have a really pretty blue this is golden brand i can't tell you what this is but we're going to use it and we're going to add a little bit of Payne's gray for some contrast and this is Payne's Gray by Master's Touch. It's my favorite Payne's Gray. So. All right, let's go ahead and lay down our base coat. And if we need to add any colors along the way, we will. I stirred this up earlier, so I'm not going to do a whole lot of stirring. I might have time for just one more. We're making good time here. All right, let's start with our neon. I think Bismo wanted a fluorescent, which you got a neon, same difference. Let's go ahead and pour that down. I added just a touch of water. Sorry, I forgot I was recording there for a second. <laughs> Now, I know you're probably thinking this yellow on yellow is going to clash, and it, it probably will, but we're going tropical, so it should be all right. Next, let's put some limish green on here. Next, let's add a little sky blue. Give us some contrast on the blues here. And a little ultramarine. Some of that rose quartz that we mixed up earlier. We just we just pouring all kind of stuff today and we're going to top it off with Payne's gray we want some contrast here so all 
Blue Pain's Grace Little Party. And let me add a little bit more yellow around the edges. Alright, we're going to take our cell activator that we just mixed up. Now, I need to blow down a little bit on this. Um, just doing some small puffs to move the paint and to pop a few air bubbles. This is our cell activator. And we're going to plop this down in the center. And I'm going to use my hair dryer. I've been on a hair dryer kick, kick here lately. This is my hair dryer. It's a little cheapo from Walmart. Maybe it was like $13, but it gets the job done. You have to be quick about it, so I'm, I'm going to have to hush for a minute. All right, turn your volumes down for just a second, y'all. Oh my goodness, look y'all. Do y'all see those gorgeous sails? Now I have too much cell activated in the center, but I'm gonna blow some of it out. And I'm going to do the old finger trick. So I'm actually mad at myself because this bloom is not, I'm probably not going to be able to keep it because I'm not going to like the center. But when I tell you these colors are just popping off the charts, it is bananas, B-A-N-A-N-A-S.
All right, a little embellishment. Let's spin this bad boy out. Wow. Check this out, guys. I love that little embellishment that we did right there. Ooh, we, my goodness. Oh, it is dreamy and decadent. You guys cannot see it, but remember the rose quartz that I put in there? It's like, bow, 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 bow. it's like popping up all over the place, but it's only in the center because I did that concentrated amount. Now, I can't admit I knew that was what was going to happen, but I'm glad that I did. And just take a look at the gradient change and the blues and the yellows. And remember how I told you that those two yellows would work out? You can barely tell that we did those two together, but it is just spectacular. Gonna spin just a little bit more. Okay, I'm done. That's it, y'all. Okay, questions. And do you guys have time for one more? I think I have time to do one more. So give me a thumbs up in the chat if you want to do one more. Okay, Bismo and Jan and J hey Joy, hey Don, hey Nancy. She said, my thumb is up. Okay, let's get this moved over. I'm so sad I can't get really good pictures right now because I'm using my phone and I use my phone for everything. Um, but I will take some as soon as I get done. But I'm going to transition this over. So give me just a second to transition and go ahead and give me some ideas for our next project. That'll be our final uh, piece for tonight. these trays a few years ago at Big Lots and it's been the best thing since sliced bread um, well I just messed the bottom of that one up Get your little spatula from the Dollar Tree. It works wonders in picking up a piece. Just slide it up under there. Damn. All right, say bye. <laughs>
All right, last one, ladies and gentlemen. What shall it be? Okay, let's do a quick one, really quick with autumn colors. I didn't prep too many colors, so we're gonna, I think we're gonna, oh, I have a spare canvas here. Let's pour on this. Oh, y'all, I was supposed to do the spiral thing. Okay, we're gonna do the spiral thing this go around. Let's go ahead and lay our paints. I'm not gonna really go through the colors because I have most of them pre-mixed already for you guys, so. While I'm doing this, go ahead and if you have any questions or anything that I can shed light or help you, um, and and maybe I can't answer it, but someone else here can answer it. Um, at one point, we had about 45 people here, and I'm super grateful and appreciative that you guys are spending your Saturday night of, or for some people it might be Sunday or whatever night it is um, with me. I really appreciate that. We need a little bit more paint. Now I want a, that extra paint in the center because we're gonna do that spiral and I need that a little bit of, of a bump uh, for my spiral. So autumn colors, we're gonna go ahead and use that gold again. Actually gonna use a little bit of that neon. You won't even be able to tell it's there. Got a little orange, this is like electric orange. Gonna add a little bit more yellow in here. This is a red blue color. So it's red, but it's gonna have a little bit of blue in it. things off with a, a really pretty purple this is like a prism violet by master's touch and some more of our rose quartz I'm loving that rose quartz 
We're gonna just drizzle that on. Cause we bad like that. We just about to drizzle and just. Now we're going to plop down our cell activator and actually let's put a little bit of the copper on top. And we're going to end it up with our white. Now, y'all know I can be heavy handed with the CA, but um, it was on purpose because I need a lot to get these colors moving. I meant to actually put this on here, y'all. So this one may not come out so good, but oh well. Look at there. It was so smooth. I couldn't even watch it because oh, I was trying not to stop, but it was like silky smooth. Come on, come on, come on. Bring it on in. Bring it on in. Alright. Now, if y'all watch me, you know I'm not a bit wrecker. I don't like to wreck a lot. Um, so I'm gonna give y'all a little something something. I need to do something with this center. So I'm gonna take my straw here and Yeah, it's a lot going on in that center. But it just might have to be going on today because I don't see myself fixing it.
Oh, woo. Okay. I need feedback. Look, y'all. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Uh-uh, not so gorgeous. But I don't want to mess up the movement of this. It's like so pretty. I wish that this was not like a oopsie daisy canvas. This was just like a a spare canvas because this is really pretty. Um, I'm feeling like this should be called Orange Dream because it is a dream. Just look at the gorgeousness. So what do y'all think I should do? Should I leave it or mess with that center song? Let's try to move it down a little bit. Okay. Y'all. I might just leave it like it is. There are some things that I don't like a whole lot, but for the majority, I'm just loving, loving, loving this. get ready to put a shirt on so that I can say my goodbyes and flip the camera around and um, does anyone have any questions I'll take a minute or two to answer some questions or what have you um, I'm not gonna mess with this anymore at least on camera but let me take a look in the comments don't leave just yet guys can I blow on the center I don't think I can Kim um, let's see Well, I definitely can't with that straw because I just dropped it in paint. Give me just a second. Yeah, nothing's really happening when I blow in the center. Well, might be wrong. Kim, you might have been on a little something something. I'm gonna try to get a few to pop up there. Meredith, I've been pouring since 2017. However, I was not pouring like this. I began really pouring um, in October of 2019. And it took me about seven months to get a bloom. I'm talking about seven months of failure and complete heartache. But it was definitely worth it. Um, so that's encouragement to anyone who's having a hard time with the blooms. Like, honestly, it's just a lot of practice um, with blooms. I mean, that's the only way I can really describe it. There's so many things going on. Can I drop a dot of purple in the center? I could, but I think I'm going to leave this little thing right here. It's kind of soupy right now, so I don't know. I'm not sure if I want to do that on this one. Okay, so let me put a shirt on. And I'm going to say my goodbyes to everyone. And last final call for a question. Let's see.
And for those of you that want to see my hands, there they are. I had a little bit of paint on them at once, but I wiped them off a couple times, but not too bad. <laughs> Okay, I would love to do another. Um... Oh, Nancy, I'm not leaving my shirt off, baby. <laughs> not this go around. That's for another video. I'm working on getting my six pack out the cooler. <laughs> All right, let me bring it in. Let me see these final comments. Thank you all for celebrating um, this anniversary post. So I would love to do, uh oh, wait a minute. There I am. I would love, look, I have paint on my lips. Yeah. So, uh oh, wait a minute, the lighting, the lighting getting bad. Hold on, player, okay. I would love to do some more lives with you all. Um, I got some tricks up my sleeve coming up, but I really appreciate you for joining in and I love constructive criticism. I would love to orchestrate some type of painting day. Um, so maybe we'll look forward to something like that in 2022. Um, remember, do every single thing with love. Treat your friends, your family, and even your enemies with love because this world needs a little bit more love. And we all could use, honestly, we could all use a hug. Like, for real, for real, we could use a hug. So give someone a hug or give someone a dollar because, you know, COVID, so you may not give hugs right now. But... Thank you so much for joining in. I will see you in another video very soon. Peace.